Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amateur bantamweight MMA bout contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, Biden out of the blue corner. He represents Daywalkers MMA. He has an undefeated record. Ladies and gentlemen, Remy Martinez! And the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This young athlete represents the Northwest Fight Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Pugh! Our referee is Mr. Paul Crossing. Well, like these guys don't give you even a second before no, they start engaging they anymore. Two young bantamweights. Pugh in the red corner looks to have a little length, a little size on his yep. opponent, but that's taken away when you're clinched up against the fence and trying to get back up. Matthew Pugh, a guy I've seen a lot, a lot of times on the circuit. Remy Martinez, not so well known to me, Steve, but. He's certainly forcing the action right now. He's got the, the left ankle of Pugh against the cage. If he can just leverage that enough and rip it out, he can put his man on the mat. Pugh staying calm at the moment. Oh, there lovely. It is. Just racks That's him just down. just what he needed. One. Oh, I thought he was going to try and keep that butterfly in yep. place. But we talked about it earlier, Steve, and then... But he is creeping that guard up yep, higher and yep. higher. I was just about to say, then we were made to sound stupid when the, uh, the guy on the bottom of the yep. triangle choke. So, you know, certainly anyone coming out of that Northwest Fighters Academy is going to be good off the bat. It's locked up again. Is this the oh! second triangle of the night? The angle's nice. I think this could be all she wrote. Is it just about pulling down on the head now? Yeah, I mean, I, to, to me, I like to see people pulling down on the head, driving the hips up, getting an angle, getting under the leg, under the arm. Yeah, he's oh. looking like he's going to tap. Second controversial decision tonight. Uh, no, it's not controversial. They made it very clear we're going to protect you from yeah, yourself. Yeah, you're right. And if this was for the UFC, you know, welterweight title, you'd be angry about that. I mean, Paul Crossley having a chat with Matthew Pugh. Matthew Pugh not looking too happy. This might be Paul Crossley saying he's called it too early, I don't know. But No, he's called it off. We'll get yeah. the decision in a moment. Okay, no, it is gonna be a triangle choke. We saw this in another Bantamweight fight earlier, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did. And you know, worst comes to worst, you just do it again. Listen, you've got it, you've got to live to fight another day. It's the amateur game. You're here to learn. Yeah, and again, if, if if these two want another shot at it, I am fairly Listen, sure November, it don't matter. I would happily watch these two run it back. Yeah, so happily. let's have them run it back. No happily. harm, no foul. Yeah, let's get this one. I'm going to go find out what's going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree that's a fight we'd actually like to see all the way through, so hopefully these two can get back in at UKFC 34. Because this bout has ended as a no contest.